welcome to another edition of Inside OPSU. I'm Danae Moore and we're here at the annual Chili Cook-Off. We're excited to speak with some of our contestants and kind of get an update on what they have in store for us today. Sit back and enjoy the show. We're back on the show and we have a couple of special guests coming to us from an organization here on campus called PBL. Girls, it's great to have you. Yeah, thank you for having us. Why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself, tell us where you're from and what you're majoring in, and then we'll talk a little bit about a very special event that's going on today during the game. Okay, well my name is Alex Hamilton, I am a business administration major here, and um, I'm from Northwest Colorado, but uh, this is my first year here, but I'm loving it so far. Hi, my name is Thin Moy, and I'm a junior here, I'm double majoring in fine arts and business administration. Okay. <laughs> today that you're calling Perp Out. Okay, so Perp Out is um, for the March of Dimes, and so what that is, our main goal is to help um, a man named Brent that's a part of this community, and um, so it's for premature babies that are born, and he last month had a baby that was born premature, so every donation that we get is for, is going towards his family, and um, we've got a bunch of freebies over at our tent, stuff like that, cotton candy, and a bunch of stuff that um, the March of Dimes company actually sent us, so we're really excited about that. And um, and then during halftime, we'll actually be doing a pass the bucket for donations as well. So it's gonna be a lot of big fun day. Awesome cause, very cool. Um, talk a little bit about PBL. Can you explain what the group is first of all, so our viewers can understand if they're not familiar with the program? Uh, Phi Beta Lambda PBL is a professional. Uh, a business group that right. and we have meetings every uh, every month uh, I believe it's the end of each yeah it's the end, the, the end of each month yeah right? it's the last Monday of every yeah. month so. and about how many students are pretty actively over involved 30 right now? Yeah. that's yeah, awesome over 30. Good. Good. okay tell us a little bit about some of the things the organization does I know at your meetings I'm always seeing cool pictures afterwards I know they bring in different speakers and things like that that probably benefit you greatly as a student to, you know, even looking into the future, making some connections, networking, yeah. that kind of thing. Yeah, definitely. And it's been really cool. Um, I mean, so we do a bunch of uh, uh, leadership conferences that, that kids can go to, they can sign up and go to. It's really helpful for the kids just to, I mean, kind of open up, broaden their horizons and get out there. So that's really cool. There's also competitions. Um, different groups can sign up for like accounting and um, IT, different things like that. Right. So it's really good for people like that. Um, and so it's really just, I mean, you can be a part of it as much as you want or as little as you, little as you want, but it's just really great for everyone to be a part of it, and it's a really easy um, thing to get into. I mean, I, this is my first year here. This is my first big event, I guess, that I've been a part of, but it's been a lot of fun, and I'm really happy to be here. And you have some great advisors. Yeah, yeah, no, the great uh, advisors are so great and so open and welcoming, so it's been really great. And it's really nice to take that, not just be in the classroom. I mean, that obviously, that's great. That's where you're learning yeah. a lot, too, but it's good to get to go out and go hands-on, do some networking at your competitions Absolutely. and that kind of thing. Yeah. Have either of you been to one of the state competitions? No, I have not, but we have one coming up, and we ha we also have conferences that we can attend. There's one coming up, uh, and it's going to be in Woodward. Uh, are you attending? I'm not actually going to go to Woodward. I'm just trying to get into it a little bit more before I go to any competitions. But Okay, well, it sounds like you guys have some great plans for the year. We're looking forward to keeping up with you, and I'm really excited to see how the day goes for you, and it's very nice that you're supporting this cause. Yeah, we're really excited, and it's going to be a great day, even though the wind will fight through it. So it's a good. pretty good day for a chilly cook-off, yeah, though, isn't perfect it? It's, for chili, it yeah. is. I think it's probably about 50 degrees, but with that north wind, it is a little yeah, chilly. A so little chilly, I'm sure though. it's good for the, the the people that are out to go around and get Oh, some about our tents, um, we, not only do we have free merchandise, we also uh, do face painting, oh, and we yeah. accept donations. Yep. yep, she'll be doing the face painting, and she's really good, so come and buy it to her. <laughs> okay, <laughs> sounds great. Thank you, girls. Yep, thank you. We have Dr. Fulton here with us. It's a great day for some chili cook-off, isn't it? It's perfect weather, no doubt about it. We were just talking with the girls from PBL and saying it that north wind's a little chilly, but it's perfect for today. Yeah. So uh, this is an exciting event and a, a big day. There's a lot going on campus. That's right. 
kind of typical for these events. Exactly. But let's start off first. A big welcome to all our seniors and transfer students that are here for the Aggie Day. Yeah. And I'm assuming you've already been over there and gotten to speak with them. And can you talk to us a little bit about that? You bet. I've done um, I've done several welcomes this morning. We've got people uh, from all six of our surrounding states all on campus today. And uh, the people I'm really proud of are our faculty and staff. They've got all these activities to sort of give them an idea of what it's like to be on campus. Right. And then we've got this, like you said, this, this, awesome this big beautiful atmosphere. event. Yeah. yeah. And it feels like football weather. It right? does. Yeah, it so it definitely does. feels like, like that. I think the thing that I was the most impressed with is people are coming for a specific purpose. And so you talk to parents and students, and they're saying, I'm here because I want to be part of the shooting sports. Right. I'm here because I want to be part of the new soccer program. I'm here because your business team is amazing, right? Um, I'm, I'm, I'm here because I want to study history. Right. Uh, and so and th my favorite activity, I think, so far today was they did an escape room for math and science, all based on STEM stuff. That's really and cool. And I thought that was just such a brilliant idea. So yep. Shauna Tucker's just doing a great job. So, great. But it's, it's fun to have all the freshmen. You know, we're, you and I are around this all the time. And we sort of get desensitized to just what a great atmosphere it is. And it's fun to see the parents go, wow, this is a place we want to be. Yeah, definitely. I'm looking forward to catching up with a few of our alumni, too, hopefully today on the show as well. And I know that they're going to have a lot to say that coming back and just seeing how much different it is. So it's really yeah. exciting. Um, talk to us about the rest of the day. We'll have a field dedication during the game. Yep. And that's going to be a very special event. Yeah, I'm really excited about that. That was actually a partnership between our university, Anchor D Bank, uh, Texas County Commissioner Jack Strain, and Goodwill Public Schools. And so we're going to honor all of those people because we've really created something that's unlike anything else in the panhandle. And I, I love everybody. always talks about the big no man's land sign. Uh, but my favorite part is to see the high school uh, students and the middle uh, school students play on sort of a world-class facility. And it must be working for our football team because uh, they're doing really well. Really proud of Gaskin. Yeah, they're doing great. So yeah. that, that'll be an exciting, like you said, perfect weather. And they're doing well. It'll be fun to get over to the game. Right. Um, let's, let's shift gears a little bit. We're going to do a special announcement today about a new scholarship, which yeah. is going to be huge for the region. Can yeah. you touch on that? Yes, absolutely. I think it's, uh, when I think of this scholarship, we call it the Panhandle Promise Scholarship. When I think of it, um, it's probably the most significant thing I've ever accomplished in my career. And so essentially what it is, it's a gap scholarship. Whatever financial aid doesn't cover and other scholarships don't cover, it covers the rest of it. So it's free for a student who wants to be a teacher and sort of in exchange for this amazing sort of transformational value, then they agree to be a teacher in the Oklahoma Panhandle and the three counties for the next two years. And so when you look at the fact that over 50% of the teachers in the Panhandle are emergency certified, we're going to put certified teachers in the classroom um, because our kids really deserve the best. And so uh, we'll, we'll have a promo video uh, that's, uh, you, you just did a great job on that. It was just an amazing, and so I just can't wait for everybody to see it. We'll admit the first class in fall. And so if you want to be a teacher, this is your this opportunity. Is for you. yeah, yeah, it's really great. It's pretty special. I know we kind of got to see the behind the scenes as the video went together. And you hear the students talking about how hard they're working. They're, they're going to class. They're working a job. They're playing a sport, doing right. all that, trying to meet, you know, their financial needs. And this right. is really going to open up some doors. And it is. It really is. I know Dr. Mihalik said it. It's a win-win for everybody. Yeah. It really is because then it's going to give back to the community. So that's super exciting. One of the things that I think I'm sort of the most impressed about is in America, our teachers are some of our, our most valued assets. They they literally shape our future. And we don't always compensate them the way we should. And so this is a way for the university to kind of step up. It was a private donor who wishes to remain anonymous, but it was a significant gift. Then it was matched by our foundation. And it's interesting because now that we've raised a million dollars for this scholarship, there are other people that are interested in being a part of it. So it's sort of, it, you really gain momentum. So as, as things start to happen, greater things come. And so really exciting. That's awesome. And we know um, how well the education program has done, how they're very right. known for the, what they're producing. So yeah. this will even just give it another push forward. Yeah, that's, that's exciting. Exactly right. Okay, while we're kind of still talking about yeah. the field, 
let's also talk about the soccer tournament that was this past weekend. Yeah. That was exciting, kind so, of breaking it in for what's yeah, to come, right? Yeah, so we had uh, 18 teams. It was put on by our Hispanic Alumni Association, uh -huh. and, I, and it was just this amazing sort of festive day, and it was great to see... Uh, Teams of, of people of all ages and all and, and, and both genders running around on our field going, wow, this is this is amazing. And so that was great. I'm really excited. We're gonna start soccer next fall. Right. And so those coaching positions are open now. Yep. And so we're gonna hire a men's and women's coach and start recruiting to the program. This is this is this too is gonna be a game changer for us. I think it's uh, it's us meeting our community where they are. Uh, and offering programs and activities that really match our community. So I really can't wait. That's a very exciting. I know it was a fun event, and it's, it is really cool to think about what the, has, right. what the future has in store for the field and everything. Exactly. Okay, we're going to talk about one other thing that's upcoming, and that's the Shooting Sports Banquet, which yeah. is, I know everyone in the community is very excited. So I'm, I know you get it all the time. <laughs> right. Update on the right. Shooting Sports yeah. Banquet. Can you give us an update? Absolutely. No, I'm, I'm happy to. So we will actually uh, break ground on the 29th. So we'll have all the people that, that, that gave us a grant uh, out here as well as some of our board members and things. Um, and uh, so there will be activities in the morning. Then we'll break ground. And then the shooting sports banquet is open to anybody in the community okay. on November 29th. Okay. That'll start at 6 uh, at Honey's. Last year, uh, it was a very successful event. We expect it to be twice as big this year. So we're, we're really pretty excited about it. Last week at the board meeting, I accepted uh, $1.5 million in grant money so we can get going and actually building it. And so I feel like we've just been waiting and waiting, and now it's here, you know, That's and I'm awesome. just so excited about what it's going to do for us. And it, uh, that was probably the most popular question I got at Aggie Preview today was when will it start? So the nice thing is everybody believes it'll start. It's just now we're actually going to be able to put a timeline on it. I think we'll have teams fielded and doing good things uh, in the fall. And so we'll actually open those positions probably in about two weeks. Okay. And so hopefully to have those people on by the first of the year so they can start recruiting for archery, <laughs> shotgun, pistol, rifle, all those things. Okay, awesome. So lots of upcoming things yeah. to look forward for the fall. I think everything we've touched on just speaks to your commitment to finding our centers of excellence and focusing on them. You speak about how you don't want to try to do everything, but right. focus on what we can do really well. Um, do you have anything to go along with that? I mean, everything that we've touched on yeah. today that's really hitting the ground and going strong, we're just really focusing on those areas and just building them up, so that's really neat to see. Yeah, when, when, I, when I arrived, we already had a few centers of excellence, and so the idea is getting things that actually complement those. And so what you're talking about is exactly right. We stopped trying to be everything to everybody, and now we're starting to see success because we're putting what resources we have to do great things with the things that we're really good at. So it doesn't matter if it's rodeo or business or computer programming or football, I believe soccer, shooting sports, all that stuff fits us. And I think that's been, it, some days it feels like I've been here about three decades and some days it feels like I've been here about three weeks. Just a blur. Yeah, and so, um, but I think, I don't think anybody expected us to be this successful this early. And I think it's because we didn't try to do everything. We're just doing good at what we're good at. Very good. Is there, are there any other updates, anything else that's coming up that you want to throw out there, anything else you're working on that you yeah, want to so mention? I'm, uh, we're, uh, probably the thing that I'm the most focused on, I've, I've been raising a lot of money for, for, for scholarships, which I, I love doing. That's an easy sell. Uh, but the thing that I'm really focused on is really trying to get our state to allow us to offer a master's degree. Um, that's gonna be key to our future growth. And really, everybody in the Panhandle wants it. Right. And so, um, sometimes it's been encouraging and sometimes it's been discouraging. What I do know is nobody's gonna outwork us on the deal. And so no matter what, we're gonna do everything we can to make sure that this is successful. That's awesome, yeah. very exciting. Well, thank you for your time. Enjoy thank you, the day. I will. And we'll catch up with you next time. Sounds good, thanks today. Thank you. Our next guests are here with the SOEA group. Doctor, start us off. Tell us a little bit about the group. Um, hello, everyone. Um, I'm the SOEA advisor, Chen Chen Wu, and um, SOEA is the um, education club at o OPSU, and um, we do we participate in a lot of like um, um, campus activities. And I have 
our president Sarah Ada and also our vice president Nancy Hill with me and then so I will just give the mic to them and so they can give you some kind of information of like what SOE activity did on, at OPSU okay okay so. Sarah take it over for us <laughs> tell us a little bit about yourself where you're from and what you're studying right now okay um, I'm from Northwest Oklahoma and I'm studying elementary education okay yes do you have a grade that you're focusing on or anything do you know yet no not yet okay <laughs> um tell us a little bit about the organization maybe what some of the events are you've done already this year and things that you have planned for the year okay so one of our biggest things is our group went to fall conference which they participated in professional development breakout sessions and in the spring we'll be going to another one and with that we'll do a outreach to teach day and we'll go into a school and help them paint, clean up, work on playgrounds, stuff like that. A total makeover pretty yeah, much. Pretty much, it? yeah. It's really <laughs> exciting to see what you guys get to do at those and yeah. I'm sure the kids are very thankful for what yeah. you do. Okay, um, what else about the group? Are there any other projects you have going on right now that you want to speak about? Just last night we finished our highway cleanup. So we have the section east of town adopted that we clean up like four times a year, I think. Yes. So That's a lot yeah. of hard work. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and then switching gears to today, you guys are very active and involved. Let's talk about the chili. Yes. Did, do you want to tell us a little bit about it? It's a pretty big competition out here, so how are you feeling about yeah, things? Yeah, sure. Well, we had um, our past advisor, Mahalik's wife, do the chili for us. Yes. Um, this is something that we do every year, so we try to maintain that tradition whether we win or not we just hope for the best and come here and participate in keeping in touch with our community and our school and support our team yes. that's so. awesome are there any um secret recipes you can talk to us about we always like to ask that yeah question. well it's secret yeah. for a reason so. <laughs> <laughs> you're not talking about it we're not talking about a secret <laughs> we do, we, uh, we do. We did win the two years ago, so hopefully um, this year we will get a chance. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> You've got a strong um, tradition to hold up there. Yes, yes uh, we're course. not giving up, so. Yes. <laughs> okay, well, we're pleased to have you guys on the show. Is there anything else that we haven't mentioned that you want to include? Um, I don't think so, just we're glad to be here and glad to have everybody's support for our education department. Very good. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Awesome. So thank you. And we're back at the annual chili kickoff. We have a special couple special guests with us from PTCI. Guys, Hello. it's nice to have you. It's good to be here. We want to give you guys a special thanks for everything you've done to help us out this year. And I want to start off and we'll talk about the chili as well. But let's talk a bit about our partnership and everything that you guys do here with the university. Right. Well, of course. You know, being the local cooperative, it's very important to us, part of our principles, or to be very involved in our community. You know, extended education is important, just even for our future, just to have people who want to live in this part of the country and can do the type of jobs we need, because we have people that are at all kinds of different levels of, ex of education, from, you know, guys who just high school diplomas, people with BAs, but also people with uh, masters and even doctorates, you know, because we need engineers, we need IT people and things like that. So uh, we're just, we're in part, we're also helping ourselves too in that we need quality employees and, be, and Panhandle State plays a role in that. And of course, being a local partnership, one of the things that's important to us is just getting the message of PTCI out. One of the fun things we get to do is just like today, calling the game and getting to film that. Uh, I've been the play-by-play -play for these home com home games for the last couple of years and just really love it. Love being a part of it. And, and you the, do a great job. With oh, it. well, thank you. Well, you know, and I had honestly, this is my fifth chili cook-off. This was the first time, the first chili cook-off was the first time I'd ever came to an OPSU football game, even though I was born and raised in the Panhandle. And I thought, what a mistake I made not coming here. The athletes that they have here, people think it's lower division, so it's not. There are guys here that are unbelievable athletes. Maybe the nose tackle doesn't weigh 315 pounds. He may weigh 275, but they're still unbelievable athletes, and it's great football. So it's, and basketball as well. It's just a great atmosphere, and it's a lot of fun to be a part of it. So we, we feel as a co-op, 
this is something we, we want to do. It's good for our future, but it's also it's something good for the Panhandle, so it's Yay! something we want to do. That's awesome. Well, and you mentioned the atmosphere. Today is a pretty cool atmosphere to be a part yeah. of, isn't it? Yeah, it is. The, you know, of course, we're close to the band. i got to be honest, I'm getting a little older. It's maybe a little loud for, <laughs> for me where we are, but it's it adds to it, and it is. I'm glad they have them here. And, you know, even for a guy who's not a big country music fan, it's good stuff. <laughs> now, did you make the chili, too? Yes. Uh, actually, it was kind of my turn. And my wife helped me out with that. You don't really want me just doing it, so. Uh, but I can we've, relate to that. <laughs> we, we've had some good compliments already, so hopefully it did add one ingredient that was kind of my specialty when I like to make chili. So, uh, but it's good stuff. Come by and taste it. Check it out. All right, let's switch gears and talk a little bit about some of the special promotions that you have going on right now. Yeah. So right now. We have a couple of good promotions going on. If you're looking to upgrade your internet and really want some higher speeds because everybody in your family kind of is maxing out your bandwidth, we've got a 50 meg for $60 per month for one year promotion going on. So it's a really good speed for most families and on top of that we're going to throw in your, our free whole home Wi-Fi for six months. Okay. Our whole home Wi-Fi is really great because we cover your whole house. We're going to assess your house and see what you need. And we've got these extender units that we put throughout your house to make sure that the entire area is covered. So it's awesome. really nice. Awesome. Yeah. And then when you uh, when you have a little bit of a hiccup and you can't remember kind of what's going on, you can call into our tech and they can get you fixed up. And those annoying firmware up updates that you don't know how to do, don't worry about them anymore because we're going to do them for you. So that covers our cellular, um, or our, our internet promotion, I'm already thinking cellular. So our cellular promotion, um, if you are needing a new phone, because we all know those bright shiny new phones that were just released, everybody wants one, right? Uh, those are $500 off right now. Oh, wow. Yeah, so all you need to do is come in, get uh, do a one-year agreement, and we'll give you $500 off that bright shiny new phone. Everybody knows which one I'm talking about, right? <laughs> Perfect in time for Christmas. Exactly. But if you want to add a line or if you're a new customer, we're going to throw in an extra 100 bucks off. So it'll be $600 off. And that takes a big chunk out. And then you've got five or $600 extra that you can keep in your bank account or you can use toward those other Christmas gifts that you're going to spend. Or uh, if you're paying tuition for your kids at OPSU, maybe uh, that helps out a little bit too, right? <laughs> Perfect. So that's kind of what we've got going on uh, with our promotions right now. Okay. Well, it's nice to have you guys. Thanks for participating in the Chili Cook-Off. Well, thank you for having us today. It's been wonderful. We're loving the atmosphere and the music's great. The people are wonderful. And thanks for everybody coming out. Go thank Aggies. you guys. Yes, right. go Aggies. All right. We're back at the Chili Cook-Off with another special set of guests. This The weather's picking up a little bit. It really it is. is perfect chili weather. And the, it the wind is perfect. Perfect. The wind is picking up a little yes. bit, I should say. It's nice to have y'all. Why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself? I'm Deb Twyman. I'm Lynn Langham. Okay, and let's talk first about our partnerships that we have going on with Anchor d Bank. We just are so blessed that we have the partnership with the college. Yes, and uh, we had the opportunity last year to work with the school to get the new to, with the new stadium. Right. And the partnership there, and so that was a lot of fun. And we just love seeing things bustling and hustling around here, and it looks like everyone's enjoying it. Yes, this atmosphere is so much fun, and today is special because we're going to do the field dedication. Yes, very much so. We're, we're so excited. Our, our uh, owners and directors, the Freemans, they're going to be here, and I know they're very honored, and it'll be a great time. It was fun last year, like you mentioned, just seeing the, the field get put together, and we got to do the picture with the, everybody from Anchor D, and that was all fun, and now it's just really cool to sit back here and take a look over and, and see everything, so yeah. we're very, very thankful for the partnership. Yeah. Um, why don't we talk a little bit about what's going on at the bank right now? Well, right now, um, we just went out on social media, and I awesome. know everyone's probably giggling. Um, we may be the last company to ever do that, but it's been a lot of fun, and we've had the opportunity to show um, pretty much our community. That's where we get our likes and our views from, that we're here, we're local. We've been here since 1906, and we're just 
so excited. We've been here. We're excited about the future. We're here to stay. That's exciting. That's very cool. Very excited about our Anchor D culture. Very excited. Very neat. Well, we are at the chili cook-off, yes. so we would we can't skip talking about your famous chili, right? Yes. Barry Strain is our cook, and we are so excited to be here again this year. And we've won several years, so we're keeping our fingers crossed that this will be winning chili. All right. Very cool. Well, thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you. We appreciate all your help, and we're looking forward to the future. Thank, thank you. I appreciate too. you. Thank, thank you. I'd like to give a special shout out to everyone who participated in the annual chili cook-off today. All the winners will be able to be viewed on screen following the show. And we'd also like to say a special thanks to our awesome PTCI crew for filming us. And that's what's happening on campus. I was thinking about the last